Good evening. The paperwork is in and the Fort Wayne Urban League is trying to get support for a proposed charter school. News Channel 15's Megan Royst was at one of the feedback meetings tonight and what are folks concerned about when concerning the charter school? Heather, they want to make sure the Urban League does it right. People want to make sure leaders hire qualified teachers and set the school apart from others. I think they have a, a great start. I think they have a good um, uh, founding board. Sheila Moore lives in Fort Wayne and helped start a charter school in Arizona. She has an extensive resume as a teacher and thinks it's a great idea if done correctly. I love the whole concept of charter schools. I think charter schools are, are, uh, can work. I've seen them work in Arizona and I believe that they can work here in Indiana. The big concerns about hiring the right staff and teachers. Everyone just really wanted to ensure that the school had high expectations. Uh, that we hired great teachers, you know, that it was a great school and, and not just another, just not just another charter school, but that it was something unique and contributed to the community. Moore says Urban League needs to find a special niche for the charter school. She says college prep is too broad. We need to sit down and really make sure that the type of school that's set up for a charter is something that the community can buy into. Once they find a niche, Moore says the next vital steps to get the community involved. The citizens here really get involved and make sure that we had set high standards and make sure it's done on the right level. The Urban League says the purpose of this potential charter school is to offer another option for students. It's not really in competition with our school systems. It's really designed to be something different and contribute something new to, to Fort Wayne's educational community. There's another feedback informational meeting like there was tonight, tomorrow night, and then the state board will vote on this on the 19th, and if it's approved, then school could open as early as next year. Okay, thank you, Megan.